Now let's take a look at the WordPress general settings. Underneath the settings option here, there is the options for the general settings. And in the general settings, you're gonna have your site title. This is part of an SEO value of your website, the site title. And if you are use uh, with your website, if you're not gonna have a custom logo, a lot of times what you put here for the site title will actually be in that logo area. And uh, you also have this area for a tagline. So if you're not using a custom logo, a lot of themes at times will pull in your tagline as well to put it near your logo. Uh, underneath that, we have your WordPress address and that's the URL to the website and the site address as well. Underneath that, you have an email address. It's important that this is an email address that you can receive emails on because WordPress is going to send you different admin notices. And this is, for instance, if you have other users on your WordPress website and someone creates an account or someone changes their password or things of that nature, you're going to get updates to this. You're going to get email notifications to this email address. So it's important to have a working email address address there. Uh, and right here is where you can choose if someone can register for an account on your WordPress site. And this is more of an advanced setting that you would use for maybe e-commerce functionality or some purpose that your website might have where you would let people register for accounts. So for instance, if you were having a membership website or an e-learning website or an e-commerce website, it's very common in those situations to allow people to create an account. And then right here, you would choose the role of that new account. So by default, it's set to subscriber, and that's pretty much what you're gonna wanna keep it as because contributor, author, and editor, and administrator has have different rights and uh, you don't want to let someone have an account with those types of rights. You want to just probably leave that on subscriber. Now right here's time zone setting. It's pretty important to keep in, uh, the correct time zone there. So when you're receiving admin notifications and it has a date and time stamp, that it has the correct time. Uh, so you'd want to set that. Uh, the date format, this is how you, it's more of a regional setting of how you would like the date format to look on your site. Here is the time format, that's your preference as well. Week starts on, actually, I'm sure there's a purpose to that. Um, uh, I, I don't know what it is, uh, so I would always just leave that as what it is. And then you can also change the site language right here. Uh, do this with caution. Obviously, you don't want to change it to a language accidentally that you can't read or understand. And then all you'd have to do is click on Save Changes and your changes would be applied to your website. Well, that's it for today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Please also give me a thumbs up on YouTube. That really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That also helps me out. Now, I don't want you to ever leave empty handed. And that's why I've put together a free video course just for my subscribers called the three steps to WordPress success. Now, if you would like free access to that course, just go ahead and click right here on the right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.